Hello, Minecrafters. Um, so I got pretty excited the other day when I watched the uh, Ethos Lab epo episode 39 on spiders and squid when he mentioned that you could uh, put squid into minecarts, which I didn't know. And I guess it makes sense because you can put all the other mobs in, so uh, I thought I'd try it out. And uh, I got pretty carried away. I have this big system under the sea with a bunch of collection points. And um, so I started collecting, well, a squid at a time. And um, yeah, I got them up here and realized I didn't know what to do with them after that. So I didn't want to break the minecart. Um, if you look at this guy, X S P Y J J. Uh, his video, Squid Collection and Transportation System, uh, it's pretty good, it's pretty good, but uh, the carts get destroyed in the lava. So what he probably didn't know, or what lots of people don't know, is the item drop booster, which is a way of separating items from minecarts. So as far as I know, I came up with that for my auto record factory but uh, someone else might have made it before, but I hadn't seen it. And all that is, is a water stream with a gap and a ladder. So you'll see if I was an item, I would uh, fall down this hole, like so. But the ladder holds the cart up. So, uh, yeah, I'll try it out, because I know it'll take more than one hit to kill him, and the problem is, see they're only, they're quite short, so the only way to get them hit while they're in the water, or, you know, the only way to have the cart go into water and hurt a squid is to fly him off the edge, and during the time he's flying, he'll be high enough to hit the block above. So this block could just be any solid block. It would probably just take a bit longer to to uh, kill the squid. So I will try it out now and see what happens. One. So it's pretty slow, but uh, you could load a few carts in there. Basically, per one block of water stream, you can have a cart. So I could have... I guess three carts would be safe in this system. And uh, I don't think I'd ever have more than th three squid around because I only seem to see about eight outside at any one time. And uh, yeah, I don't really need ink that much. It's more for fun. So he should come back around two. At the moment, <clears throat> they go on a booster which goes below here and uh, just loops back round. Loops back round to here. Normally this track is connected to this one. I just have it set in a circle for uh, testing purposes. So I'll just sit here and speed up the video and count uh, how many times it takes for him to die. So that's two. Okay, so that was a fail. <laughs> I guess this system still needs work. Okay. Okay, so I'll show you how to build this now. So the cart has to come in and it has to fly down a bit. So this thing will end up being fairly tall, but, uh, well, probably taller than you'd expect anyways. You want to build up the walls so that the items don't fall out the side. You also want to put a roof on it for the same reason. And uh, what happens is the first water flow just comes to here and it gets stopped. So we do need a second water flow 
below. And that way any items in the uh, system get pushed through. So they come down here, down here, and they fall down this hole here. So you can see there's a ladder there, and they fall down like so. And the minecart keeps on traveling across because the ladder holds it up. So this won't work with a sign. Um, so this could be straight. It doesn't have to be this shape. I don't know if it works in every other direction, but uh, I assume it will. So I don't think you need lava, but uh, it provides light and it probably kills them a bit quicker. So we'll go for lava. Although you could probably set this up with a block and have it a bit, maybe have the block here and possibly it would work. But I'll stick with the lava for now. And that's it really. I mean, so you see the water comes across here. It gets stopped by the sign which is holding up the lava. The cart then falls down onto this glass block. It flows across here. The items fall down here. So it's important to have the ladder as far away from the uh, lava as possible so the items don't get stuck on the side of the ladder. And then the cart gets pushed over here and onto this booster where it's looped around. So all I need to do to automate this is put a, a detection, a pressure plate somewhere in this return, cart return system that will detect if there is still a squid in there. And if there isn't, it will send it back to hopefully get another one. And if the squid is still in there, it can just loop round uh, until the ink is produced. So I'll just try it out um, and see what happens. So it'll take a little minute to get running because I uh, didn't have enough space in this testing area when I first made it. But I just wanted to make sure everything worked before I got too crazy. <laughs> and at the end I'll just do a quick tour of my uh, collection system and you'll see how far I've got already. Uh, it's all legit now, by the way. So I'll just let this speed up and uh, see what happens. Oh yeah, it's quite slow at the moment and as I said you can put this, I guess there's five water blocks so I would probably be comfortable with uh, four or five carts. And actually thinking about it, maybe if you had lots of carts, so if you had a cart that fell down and then the next cart kind of rested on top of it, that might be high enough for the squid to be touching the lava. So I'll try that out when I get the whole system working better. And that could definitely improve the, uh, the times. Because I think it takes seven hits right now for... Uh, the lava to kill the squid. Okay. So there we go. It's worked. The uh, ink has stayed in the system. The cart is now empty. It is traveling back. I can uh, just set up the normal system and send it back to hopefully find another squid. Just have to remove this block. And you'll see how that works. But this all needs to be uh, improved. Um, and there we go. So I set everything up to take a ride on the cart system and it caught another squid and it just kind of forced it into this block here and the squid died. 
so his ink's popped up over here. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, normally this would be hooked up here. I just changed it so I could uh, take a quick tour of my minecart squid system, which I will do now. Uh, actually, I'll just set it up so that when I get back, I get sent into the uh, ink system. Okay, here we go. So I probably used, I don't know, four stacks of iron to do all this, but uh, it's not like there's a shortage of iron. <laughs> so it just comes up here for no good reason. And it comes all the way down here. This is kind of the uh, getting near the edge of my uh, range. And under here, there's normally a guy in here. <laughs> but this still needs a lot of work. To get more squid. So, yeah, the few points. It comes out of the water, and I just thought that would be, uh, you know, a bit fun. And once I built them, I didn't want to destroy them. So if I was a squid, uh-oh. <coughs> hmm. So that's good to know as well. For a tall mob, it took, I think, uh, three and a half hearts. Something like that. Okay. Thanks for watching.